Okay, so I actually have no idea if this is going to work or not, but I've installed an add-on that is insane. So if you haven't missed it, I have a create survival world, and on that world right now, I'm making trains. So I've started making a train factory where I automate train tracks, train signals, train casings, everything. And as soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to start making worldwide trains, baby. Trains that travel all across the world, automated with train schedules. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be so cool. But I've been thinking of a way to track the trains. So let's say this right here is 10,000 blocks of train tracks. That's a lot. How am I supposed to know where the trains are without going out to the actual train tracks and finding the trains? It's going to be impossible. So my first idea was to use train observers with redstone links and redstone lamps. So we're still pretending that this is 10,000 blocks of train tracks. We'll have one lamp for every thousand blocks or whatever. I don't know. Let's just do something like this. So then we'll have a train observer right here, another one here, one here, and one here or something. I don't know what this is. Now, whenever a train drives over this thing right here, the train observer will light up. So if you place a redstone link on here, give it a frequency and then place it over here as well. This lamp is going to light up whenever a train passes this train observer. So when the train is right here, we'll be able to see that, oh, the train is in the beginning of the track. But then I realized thousand upon thousand of blocks of tracks going all across the world. We're going to run out of space <laughs> with all of the redstone lamps really quickly. It's going to be insane. Like the system is going to be too complicated to make. It's just not going to work. And then out of nowhere yesterday, I found probably the coolest create mode add-on yet. I know I say that a lot. I know I say that a lot, <laughs> but it's called create track map and it adds just that track maps to the game now i don't know how it works but i think it sets up sort of a web thing page whatever i don't know this stuff but hopefully the train tracks that i'm building here should be visible on that website that is hosted through the world on my pc anyways this is what my train tracks look like right we have one going forwards and one turning to the right so hopefully if i go to the web browser thing we should be able to see this live updated in real time on the internet maybe let's see if this works oh oh we're getting something Thing. I was not expecting it to actually work. Wait, but there are no trench. <gasps> <laughs> Yes, no way it actually worked first try. It's uh, the train tracks. I don't even know what this is. Track occupancy signals. No, 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 no. It can see the signals as well. There is no way. Wait, I thought it was just going to show the, the tracks and then maybe show the trains, but it's like, wait, let's get a train signal right here. Then we, we split up the tracks into two. So we have the green line here and the yellow line here. All right, two tracks. Let's see if it's visible on the website. Oh my, what? It's right there. The signal is right there and it's green. Is it green because there are no trains on there? Okay, wait, wait, we need to make a train. Train controls, super glue make the simplest train ever and see how fast does it appear on the website. So if we assemble this now, and then really fast, oh, it's right there. It's already there. Oh, it's got the, the station and the unnamed train. <gasps> does it show the name of the things? All right, so I've split my screen. We have Minecraft at the bottom and the map on top. So if we jump onto this train and start moving it forwards, it updates. That is real time. There is barely any delay and it's also showing the direction the train is going in with an arrow. Yeah, and it's red as well because this track is occupied by a train. So if we turn to the right, we should see the signal turn red and this track turn white as soon as we pass. What? All right, now I have about 10 million things I want to try out. First off, let's rename the track station to something else. Uh, small station. There we go. I don't know if that's going to pop up. And then also we'll rename this train. Small train number one. All right, so for now, this train can only go to the right and forwards. And then it ends. Let's make a small track here that goes around. Add some more trains to it. And then see what happens when we automate it. I wonder how much it's going to show on the website. This is awesome. And we have one signal here. Let's make another signal right here. We divide this up again. Again, just like that. And then I guess for the straights, we're gonna want some train signals. Right, that should be enough for a couple of trains. So let's make another station, I don't know, right here. Lamp station right here next to the lamps. And now if we look at the website, we have the signals, the occupied track, small station and lamp station with the trains. Small train number one. I mean, imagine tracks going all across the world. You can just go onto one website and see, oh, there's my train. I'm waiting for this train to get to, to Lamp Station. When you can see it travel along the lines. Now, the problem is I only have one screen and I don't want to split it up. So let's automate this train and see what it looks like on the website when it's moving. So we want it to go to Lamp Station, wait there for, let's say, five seconds, and then go back to Small Station. Then we get a lead and, I don't know, a sheep maybe. Put the sheep in the seat, give you the train schedule, and it should start moving. Yes. All right, let's see. There it is. It is moving. Small train number one. Oh, and the signals as well. <gasps> and it's going up to Lamp Station. It stopped. That's why it's blue, because it's not moving anymore. We can now see that this track is freed up, but this is not, of course. And then, oh, wow. Absolutely magnificent. But so what if I make another train on here now? Uh, we should maybe get another signal as well. So we split this up here. 
I don't know if that's smart. And then I'll place Nixie tubes on here so we can actually see if it's occupied or not. Seat, train controls, super glue, assemble, we'll call this Charles train. Uh, navigation succeeded. Oh no, it's going! <gasps> oh, oh, it stopped. I made another one, I forgot. I thought it was gonna crash in. Yeah, okay, so wait, this train stopped right here now because I am occupying this track. So if I turn to the right into here, it should become white. Yep, and the train can pass. Good stuff. And yeah, that means I can't go out here because the track is actually occupied. And here comes the sheep. And as soon as it passes the other signal, I should be able to go forwards. Yep, and that means it's red. And then I have to stop over here because it's uh, red. I can actually go past it and I'll get, yeah, <laughs> I'll get an achievement. And I want to see what the sheep does next. Is it going to go forwards? Yes, it is. It's going to go forwards and then it's, it should stop here at this signal. And it will. And now it's gonna stay here until I've passed this signal, clearing this track for small train number one. Wow. As soon as I start automating more than one train, I always get crashes. Always, without fail. Let's make this the pig train. I'll let you move towards a small station and then lamp station. You know what? Let's make another station up here and see what happens. So instead of small station, I want you to go to the off station. And when there, I want you to leave after 10 seconds. So this should make it sort of off with the sheep because the sheep's gonna go between these two stations and the pig's gonna go between this one and this one but also wait longer over here. We're stress testing the system, baby. Okay, it's white now, so the sheep, yeah, sheep moves forwards. Pig goes up to the off station. Sheep stops here. Now the sheep's gonna stay here for five seconds. The pig's gonna stay there for 10. So the pig sh or sheep should move now. Yeah, there we go. Forward, oh, oh pig already started moving. And on the, the map, we can see that the shell train with the pig is moving forwards. It's gonna head over here to the off station. Yup, and the small train going to the lamp station. And right now this track is free. So if we have a train that's going like over here as well, it could pass. All right, this is too simple. It's working way too well. I need more action in my life. This is getting complicated, but I really need to test everything out here and see if it works. All right, so we have all three trains moving now. The pig, the sheep, and the wolf. Uh, the wolf should stop there, hopefully. Yeah, it is red. Nice. And the sheep starts moving. The question is, is the pig or the wolf going to start moving when it becomes... Oh, are they going to start moving at the same time? No, the wolf still has to wait. Oh. And on the website, we can see what tracks are occupied, where the trains are moving. We see that the, the, the pig train is waiting for the wolf to pass. The wolf has passed, so the pig is now going out. Going to wait here until the wolf... This is great. I believe we broke it. So the pig's waiting at this signal because the wolf is over there. And since the pig is on here, this track is occupied, meaning the wolf can't get out. But there's of course a fix to that, which is very simple. We just get a signal right here. And when we do that, we divide this track and now everything moves again. All right, there is one problem with this thing though. This whole thing has one issue and it's the fact that I have to tap out to a web page whenever I want to see where the trains are, which is a pain, right? We want everything in Minecraft, in game. And so that's why I've downloaded one final mod, web displays. And and maybe we should be able to go onto the internet right here. Oh, there we go. <gasps> oh, no way. Wait, is there like a mouse or something? Wait, I'm so confused. How do I move the screen? This is this is insane. Can I can I link you? Linked. What do you do? Oh, it's just the URL. Okay. Mine pad? Wait. Oh, but I still can't move on the page. It is showing. Oh, oh, there we go. Yes, yes, I did it on the mine pad. Wait, is it going to stay there when I get it down? How do we... My game crashed. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to see if this works on the server now. So if it does, that's going to be insane. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. I'm going to cry if you don't.